Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I, I guess we could. Did you have the place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five year warranty? Replace. No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. <sighs> when you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want to rent. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each Council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Hey, loco! Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. How do you make it work? I wouldn't know how to survive otherwise. I'm a soldier, but I'm still human. I hear that. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit, right. I wanted to show you. A 
What do you think? Looks good. You've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Shepard. What the hell? No way. You've been holding out on me. Oh, man. <clears throat> this is sweet. <clears throat> Come on. Let me just use it for a bit. <clears throat> What have we here? You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, this should be good. That's 20. This might take a while. <clears throat> you think? Ways to go, my friend. Next time. 